Hi, my name is Nung Fadzilayong and I'm going to present on the performance evaluation for service organization. So, service businesses do not produce any tangible output because it is very difficult to measure performance. And the tendency has been to concentrate on the easily quantifiable aspect of cost and productivity. So, I prepared performance measure should be selected in the light of the company's strategic intention to suit its competitive environment. Um, the range of performance measure covering six dimension, uh, competitive performance, financial performance, quality of service, flexibility, resource utilization, and innovation. Okay, so the first performance dimension is competitiveness. So the type of performance measure is, um, for example, is relative market share and market uh, position, um, sales growth, and then next is financial performance. So types of performance measure is um, profitability, liquidity, the market ratio, capital structure, and so on. So next is service quality. So in service quality dimension, um, uh, they measure the reliability, uh, responsiveness, cleanliness, appearance, comfort, security, and others. And the next one is flexibility. So type of performance measure is uh, volume flexibility, specification and speed of delivery flexibility. Uh, the fifth one is resource utilization. So under this dimension, uh, they measure the productivity and efficiency. And the last one is innovation. So for innovation performance dimension, um, the type of performance measure is performance of innovation process, performance of individual innovation, and so on. Hello, Mr. Laila, and hi everyone. My name is Nur Shahira Bintiz Gifli. So now, I will be talking about the performance evaluation for non-profit organizations. So first, I will be explaining on how the non-profit organization will evaluate their performance. Since non-profit organizations are non-business entity with their main focus are not on making profit. Non-profit organizations often dedicated for a particular social cause or advocating for a particular point of view. Therefore, the non-profit organizations will create their own qualitative and quantitative metrics measure to evaluate their performance. The non-profit organizations will evaluate their performance through fulfilling their missions and functions. They also would measure on how well the organizations manage their resources effectively and efficiently. So now, I will be explaining on the five criteria for the non-profit organizations to measure performance, which is economics, efficiency, effectiveness, esprit de corps, and ethics. And the three main criteria should be focused on are economics, effectiveness, and efficiency. So the first criteria, which is economics, focus on the financial resources management on how will the organization manage their financial resources, such as amount of funds from contribution and donations, also include the amount of funds allocated for financial programs. The second criteria, which is efficiency, defined as ability to do things right or to do things well to gain the desired result. This can be seen on how well the organization manage their input into output and how well the organization carry out their function. Moving on to the next criteria, which is effectiveness, defined as capability of doing the right things to produce expected or desired results. This can be measured on the degree of organization achieve its objectives and the assurance from organization activities on supporting the organization function, mission, and the organization objectives. The second last criteria which is esprit de corps from French words means morale or enthusiasm defined as capacity of group of people being consistent and persistent on pursuing a purpose. This can be measured on how well the organization working as a team. And the last criteria which is ethics provide code of ethics that serve as guidance to manage the organization. This can be measured on how will the organization carry out their duties 
with due care and effectively. So that's all from me for the non-profit organization performance evaluation. I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Nova Zila Binti Rostam. I am presenting an example of performance measurement system for non-profit organization and a service organization. For non-profit organization, I choose Roma Anakyatin as Sakina as an example. First, let us look at the efficiency of the organization. Ruma Anakyatin as Sakina very efficient in managing organization as they provide all the necessity for orphans like sending them to school and provide religious knowledge to them. Besides that, Ruma Anakyatin as Sakina also efficient in organizing additional activities for the orphans like outdoor activities such as recreation attending motivational talks, performing at events such as Islamic cultural performance. Second is economy. Orphaners like Roma Anak Yatim Asakina usually get funds from donations. So, Roma Anak Asakina, they are fully utilized the funds by spend most of the money for foods and other basic necessity for orphans like wardrobe and beds for them. Also, the organization are very dedicated in receiving donations so that it can be benefits the orphans like during this pandemic, for example. The orphanage did not accept any contribution in terms of ready-to-eat food for orphans as they are not staying at the hostel but with their family. Instead, the orphanage accept contribution like cash or basic necessity such as dry foods. From this, we can see that the orphans do not waste the funds that has been given by people. They are fully utilized it by giving the, what the orphans need. Next is effectiveness. For this evaluation, we need to see whether Ruma Anakyatim as Sakina has achieved the objective of the organization. By looking at efficiency and economy measurement, we can say that the organization has achieved their objective. They have fulfilled the welfare of the orphans and have given them an affection and attention by treating them like a family. Not only feed them, but also take them out for sightseeing like other children, such as watching movie together. Next is the performance evaluations for Clinic Kesehatan Malaysia. In terms of service quality, Clinic Kesehatan Malaysia have systematic procedure such as providing queue number to the patients and have separate counter like pharmacy counter and patient rooms that are seek for doctor consultations. And the availability of doctors and medicine also always available at Clinic Kesehatan Malaysia. The responsiveness of the staff with the patient are also very good as they are very friendly and professionals. And the cleanliness of clinics is always in hygiene conditions. Next is in terms of flexibility. The staff are very flexible in their job specifications and delivery of their works, such as staff nurse. They can check blood pressure, needle the patients, take the bloods, and help the doctor to perform surgery. So they are very flexible. In terms of resource utilizations, Clinic Asyata in Malaysia received budget from Ministry of Health. The budget will be used to provide medical equipments and drugs, and also other resources like human resource. In providing high quality services, they are fully utilized in using their human resources to serve the community. And lastly is innovations. The staff have segregations in duties, for example, doctors and nurse. Doctors usually check patients and give description of medicines for them. 
wildness, check patient's blood pressure, take the patient's blood, and test the patient's urine. Thus, the simplifications of duties in job specification can increase the job performance of the staff. Thank you. That's all from me.